Hi everyone, let's talk about Wollstone-Holmes theorem in number theory. The theorem states that if a is greater than or equal to b and b is greater than or equal to zero, and these are integers, and p is a prime greater than or equal to five, then what we have is the following congruence. AP, BP is congruent to a choose b mod p cubed. Now there is no known easy proof of this. No easy proof is known. So what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to prove a weaker version of this, which is that we're going to show that AP choose BP is congruent to A choose B mod P for any prime P. So it's not, it's not strictly weaker because over here we have p is greater than or equal to 5, whereas here p could be 2 or 3. So there is there is the added benefit of this being true for the numbers 2 and 3 as well. Um, but the modulus p cubed is far stronger than the modulus p, so uh, we have to weigh which one is better. Um, but in terms of a proof that fits into a short video, the weak version is the better one to go with, so let's prove it. Our technique is going to be the following. The technique is to do x plus 1 to the power of AP and expand it so that we get the coefficient AP choose BP. And the other technique, the other part of the technique is to expand it as x plus 1 to the power of P to the power of a mod p. So we're going to take all the coefficients mod p. And I just want to be clear that x is a formal variable. So it, it's not, it doesn't represent a number, it's just an organizing element in, in the polynomial rings if we're being very formal about it. But don't worry about that, te that terminology. So uh, let's do the first part. The first part we get x plus 1 to the power of AP. By the binomial theorem, this is equal to the sum of I, uh, the index I from 0 to AP to AP choose I, x to the power of I. So that that's the um, the whole expansion, but notice that because a p is greater than or equal to b p because a is greater than or equal to p, and they're both greater than or equal to zero, we find that the coefficient of x to the b p is a p b p, and that's going to be useful because finally we have this. In, in play, so we're going to be working with that. The second thing is that we're going to be expanding x plus 1 to the AP as x plus 1 to the P to the A. And it's all going to be modulo P. And because this is mod P, we can use a Frobenius endomorphism, which I've talked about. I've talked about in a different video. We can get that this is x to the p plus one to the power of a mod p. And now we're going to use the binomial theorem to get that this is the sum from j equals to zero through a of a choose j times x to the jp mod p. And notice that over here um, a is greater than or equal to b is greater than or equal to zero. So 
the coefficient of x to the bp is a choose b. So we just have to connect these two, both of which are coefficients of x to the bp. And we finally get that the um, modulo p, we find that ap choose bp is congruent to a choose b mod p. And that completes the proof of the weak version of Wilson's Wilson-Holmes theorem. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.